Hello, my dear New Hope friends and family. What a delight it is to greet you on this Friday afternoon from New York. Pastor Darren has asked me to, to share a couple things with you, and I'm so happy to do this. When I look back on, my, on Julia's and my time with you, I just have thanksgiving and joy in my heart. Sure, we had some tough times, but what I remember are the, the blessings of God there among us, the mighty works that God did while, while we were there. Do you remember the, the fellowship of the Spirit that we had? Such sweet friendship and camaraderie was in our church family during those years. And many of you were there because of that. And how thankful I am that God drew you in and gave us a chance to, to experience your love as well as to give our love to you. We had stirring times of worship. One of the first songs that you know, Michael and Jeannie led us in when we, when we were there was Shout to the Lord. All the earth, shout to the Lord. And that became a theme song for me personally. And I, I just thank you for that gift. Um, I remember that uh, when I'm tempted to be grumpy. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Shout to the Lord. The work days we had together were sweet, weren't they? Putting our shoulder together to do one project or another. We had the best potlucks in the world. <laughs> And we, we, had, we had some great times of working together. And that led us to do things like um, go global with our missions, mission effort. New Hope Church touched the world while I was there. We touched Mexico, Austria. You remember India and Africa? Africa came to us, didn't they? India came and visited us. We touched the world and we thank God for that opportunity to open our eyes to what he is doing with his body around the world. And to be a part of that. Um, even now, Kevin is in Guatemala. And you have a hand in uh, helping Kevin to respond to the call of God and his life to be a mission leader and to encourage the mission work of the church around the world. How we thank God for that. Thank you that uh, you are there. You've been there in prayer. And during this time when I have been reconciling to the fact that Julia has gone to heaven, uh, many of you have reached out, and I, I so appreciate your love and your care for me. So we saw God answering our prayers over and over again. You remember some of those hard times we had? In 2008, we lost 27% of our church to the financial difficulties of Douglas County, a county that was in the double digits in unemployment. 40% of the homes in green were either for sale or in foreclosure. We ended the year with one elder, Michael, and one deacon and one deaconess. Michael and I went to, went away on a prayer retreat together, and and we determined to trust God with where we were and who we were, and that He He was not done with us, and He wasn't. But a few beautiful leadership developed over the years before I left, and I'm so thankful that Michael and others like him have been faithful to God. Michael said to me one time, no matter where you go or what you do, David, you're going to be my pastor. And that kind of loyalty and camaraderie that we shared is what made a difference. We stuck together through the hard times. And God honored and blessed that, I believe. So uh, we enjoyed, as a result, a blossoming uh, reputation in the in the community, especially among the, the the other churches, as as a church that believed in the Bible, trusted.
trusted Jesus and was willing to throw our arms around anybody that we could. We had sweet times of prayer and fellowship with the Community Baptists and the Foursquare and the Mennonite and the Assembly of God. You, you know how it was. I'm probably forgetting somebody. <laughs> Wonderful times of prayer and seeking God together uh, for his moving upon our community. So how can I encourage you as you move into the future? I want to share a, just a couple of scriptures with you. The first one is this one. Let's see if I can get it up here. The Apostle Paul was meeting with the Ephesians before he took his last journey to Jerusalem and then on to Rome. And he said to them, and this was initially directed at the elders, but I believe it could be applied to the entire church. He said, so guard yourselves and God's people. Feed and shepherd God's flock. His church purchased with his own blood over which the Holy Spirit appointed you as leaders. Watch out. <laughs> Remember the three years, Paul says, and I say 22 years, I was with you. My constant watch and care over you night and day and my many tears for you. Remember that. And now I entrust you as Paul entrusted the Ephesians. I entrust you, No Hope, New Hope Church, to the Lord God our good and beautiful and kind and wonderful God, our almighty, powerful God, I entrust you to him and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance with all those he has set apart for himself. New Hope Church, I believe that you are postured to lead the kingdom of Jesus Christ in Douglas County by your faith, by your generosity of spirit, by your loving open arms to, to one and all, to your faithfulness to each other, to your pastor and your leadership. You, you are Jesus Christ's living representative right where you are. And I am I'm filled with confidence and thanksgiving that he has you where he does that you are looking forward and upward and onward, that you're seeking to do things in fresh and new ways, that you are, you are challenged to believe Jesus every step of the way. It's far bigger than you, right? Yes, it is. It's far bigger than you. Jesus said in another scripture, and, and you probably remember, this is, this is my favorite scripture. Of all time, he said, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am gentle, gentle and lowly in heart. And you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus doesn't encourage us from a long way off, does he? No, he, he, he stops. He embraces us. He puts his arm around us and he says, come on, I've got you. Let's go. Jesus has you all. <laughs> he has you and he wants to take you forward. He wants to take you into the fullness of what he has for you by the spirit of God, by the love of God, by the, for the glory of God. This is your calling. Go with him, trust him, believe in him, never give up. Don't give in to the devil. He would throw things in your way that would, would take away your joy and try to destroy your faith. Don't let conflict divide you. Trust in him, follow him, embrace one another with forgiveness, patience, earnest love. Be there for each other. And God will bless you beyond your wildest dreams. I love you all. I wish Julia was here to give you her love too. But you know where she is. It's all about love. <laughs>
And one of these days, we're going to have a grand reunion, and it is going to be amazing. We might even sing, shout to the Lord, all the earth, huh? God bless you all. Keep looking up. I'll see you soon.